In this second video, I want to talk about how to create a basic dialogue box to go along with this script. As we discussed in the, the first video, there's many different items that we would like to capture up front in order to run this uh, script. The first one is the file name. Uh, that'll be the file of the idea file that we'll be running the script on. Uh, we also would like to figure out which field to run it on, which would be a numeric field. We want to also know whether it would be the amount, so whether we stick with 10 or do we want to use 100, 1000 or some other amount. And finally, we want to give an option whether or not we want to have it greater than or equal to or less than or equal to. So in order to create a dialog, we have two different options. We can just right click on the dialog and say new dialog. Or we can go on top and go insert new dialog. And this will bring up the dialog tab. Uh, as you can see, we've got the new script. This gives us back to the script, and this brings us to the dialog tab. And in a script, you can have multiple dialog tabs. First thing we can do is we can move it around, arrange where to be located, and also we can change the size of it. If I do just change the size a bit, make it a bit larger. Once I open up the dialog, what I want to do first is change the name of the dialog so I can change it to title. In this instance, I just want to call it menu. So once I change that, if I click back on the dialog, you notice that now it's now called menu. So this will show up to the users. The second part is the name. The name. This is how the script will reference this dialog internally. In this instance, I'm just going to call it dialog menu. And another option here under the properties is the function. And I'm going to call this display it. What this will do is when I'm creating the code later on to reference this dialog box, anytime I go and interact with this dialog box, whether I start it up, click on anything, it'll run a, the function called display it and go in and do whatever code I've written in the display it. So this allows me to sort of fine tune and change different aspects of the dialogue as I go. Now the first thing I want to do is add on a button. Now this button I'm going to call select file and what will happen is whenever I'll click on this button running the code, I'm going to be writing code later on, it'll click up another, open up another box, which will be the file explorer, which will allow me to go in and select the idea file that I want to run this script on. Next, I want to add in some text, some static text field here. I'll just make this a bit larger. And what this will do is give me a place to put the name of the file that I've selected. And I'm going to change this ID to text file name. So if I want to get the information out of here, or put any information in this text box, I would reference it by using the text file name ID. Next, I want to add on a bit more text, static text here. This will be just to hold the information of what I want to do. In this instance, it's the amount field. So here I can go in and change the dimensions, but also I can go in and change the dimensions from within the position. So here's got a height of 50, that seems a bit large. Let's just change that to 10, and as you can see that now that's made this a bit smaller, maybe we want to make this a bit wider. We can change this to 50, and so on. So we can fine tune the position of the different uh, elements within the dialog box within the properties. Next, I want to add on a drop-down combo box. And I'm going to make this wider. So this will be a drop-down uh, box. Ultimately, what will happen is that after I select the field, the select the file with an idea, I'll go, this will populate the drop-down box, so then I can go in and select the amount field that I want to run the equation on. Uh, I'm going to just leave the ideas drop list box one. And the other thing I want to change is the attached list. The attached list is the array that will hold the elements that will be within this drop down box. And I'm just going to call this list box one. I'm going to add on a dollar sign to indicate it's a string. 
and then I'll put the uh, open and close brackets to indicate that it's an array. Next thing I want to do is add on another text box to indicate the amount. Again, I am just going to change the height to 10. And I'm going to put this next to an edit box because this edit box is going to hold the amount that I'm going to be looking for, either to be greater than or equal to or less than or equal to. And I'm going to go change the ID for this so I can reference it within the script. And I'm going to call this text amount. Next, I want to add on a group box. So I'll just add on the group box here. Basically, the group box I'll use to use uh, to group the options. The options being either it's greater than or equal to or less than or equal to. I'm going to change the group box title to extraction type. And now I'm going to add in uh, some radio buttons. And the first option button I'm going to change to greater than or equal to. And the second option button I'm going to change to less than or equal to. As you can see, they both show up with the little uh, option here. So once the code's complete and I go run the dialog, I'll either be able to select one or the other, but not both. And how I, how I do this is I got to relate this to the group. So I've got the group box ID. So I'm just going to copy that. And under group ID, I'm going to change that to group box one. So that now these two radio buttons know that they're associated with this group box. And I'm just going to line these up a bit. And different ways I can do this is here. I could go look and see that the top here is at 100, so I'm going to go set the top here at 100, so now they'll line up, and I can make this extraction type a bit smaller. And finally, I want to give the user an option to give the new file name. So again, I'm going to add on a text box. I'm going to say new file name, and then I'm going to add on an edit box in which the users can enter in the new file name. And I'm just going to leave that as text box 1. And lastly, I want to add on the OK button and the cancel button. So that's a good start. Uh, maybe I want to line up all these different elements. So what I can do is I can just uh, highlight them all and select them all. And then there's different options, align left, align right. So here I want to align left. So I line them all left. Maybe I want to move it over a bit. And so on. Not perfect. I could spend some more time making it look a bit better. Maybe this I want a bit to be a bit closer. And so on. I could go fine-tuning it. But for a first start, it doesn't look too, too bad. So that is how you create a basic dialog box. As you can see also all these different elements, if I click on any of them, they all have properties. The common properties is they all have different positions, sort of the left, top, width, and height. So the left and top is the number of pixels in relation to the upper left hand corner. And then of course the width and height or the width and height of the, the element. Uh, most of them have an ID. Some of them have other special functions such as uh, list box one where we can attach a list. Also for uh, edit boxes, we can also enter in a style. Uh, style gets a little more complicated and I'll hopefully create another video talking about styles sometime in the future. So I'm going to leave this for part two. Uh, part three, we'll start adding on the code that goes behind the scenes to actually make this script interesting. Uh, catch you in part three.